Hello mentors, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn about Z Develop Platform. We will create the series of this platform and we will learn A to Z about this platform. Okay, we will learn why we should use this platform, what is the purpose of that platform. We will learn everything. Okay, so let's start from basics. So first, what is this? So this is the open source game development software. Okay, this will allow us to create a desktop and mobile games. Okay, and you don't need to be a specific knowledge of any language. You can create the game like this. You can see the some uh, space and some uh, here you can see the fire and second you can see this type of like a label. You can make a lot of labels here and you can create a game like Mario and and more. Okay, so that's the two examples, simple examples. You can create the games for Android, iOS, macOS, Microsoft Windows, HTML5. It means whenever you create some games uh, or something in this platform, so you can you can create an APK of that game. You can upload that game in your website, right? So that's the all platforms for ZW platform. Now, important thing is this: you can create the games online and offline both okay right they have a software you have to install that software to create an offline games and if you don't want to install it so you can create the games online okay yesterday we have created one simple online game using this platform i will give you the link in the description okay so let's create that so here we go so simple open any browser and just type here the develop and he will find zdevelop-app.com that's the website here open this okay and you can see try on, try it online and download so in this tutorial we will learn the download and then we will create yesterday we have created the online games okay so make sure watch this okay so now click on that download button and you can see if you are using windows so you need to download that one mac os linux and try it online so I'm using macOS, so I'm going to click on that. And it takes some time to download. It's around 137. I already have downloaded this and installed it. It's very simple to install any software. Whenever you whenever your download is completed, then you have to double click on that and next, next, next. It's simple. Okay. Now after this, let me just cancel this because I already have it. Cancel. Now I already have it. This one, Z Develop. Open this. Whenever you open this, this will look like this, loading the editor, okay? For this screen, you will find your getting started and tutorials, create a new project and open our project, okay? So you can learn some tutorials from here and you can create a new project and open project. So we don't have any project, so we will click on that, create a new project, click on it. And you will find starters, examples, tutorials and games, okay? So what I will do here, because yesterday we have created the that platformer app, okay, using that um, starter template. But in this video, we will learn from the scratch. So we need to click on that empty game here. You can see that one template, just click on this and wait some second. All right. Now in the left side, you will find your option of scenes. So click on that, click to add a scene. And you can see new scene is created. Now double click on that scene. And you'll find here this one. Now you can move it from here like this. If you want to, uh, whenever you want to zoom it or zoom out, so you need to press command uh, minus or command plus, or you can say control uh, minus or control plus like this. So uh, in the left side, you'll find in the corner, click on that project manager, and you can see cam setting, click on properties. And now we have to change our project name. So you can say my first project, my first project you can change that version and you can see the package name you can change anything that package name is something tcb and game name your game name is uh, mfp my first project author name tcb okay and you can change that game resolution 800 to 600 you can change it okay but i'm not going to change it uh, it's fine and you don't need to anything here and just click on apply Okay, now that we have uh, configured our settings of our game, now we need to 
create the objects so objects means that's the screen right so now we have to drag and drop some things because we have to create games okay so what we will do we will use some spread here so click on that plus sign add new object and you can see here all assets if you are not able to see the assets so whenever you open so you will see that that type of uh, frame here right like, so in the left side you can see search asset store and you can see the new object from scratch so there's two tabs okay so click on search asset store and you need to put some assets here so i will use your suppose this one button. click on this okay and add to game like this now we have successfully added this now go to the close now we have added one captain here right so drag and drop this captain here like this so that's our one object that's our captain here right you can increase this size of this here you can see in the whenever you click on this in the left side you will find custom size animation angle x and y position so you can see x y position is 235 and 212 let me just change this to 100 sorry 100 like this right so or you can drag and drop this from like this here like this you can drag it right now we need some uh, some ball or and something here so i'm going to click on add new object okay and i'm going to scratch uh, create the create that uh, item so what i will do here i'm going to use here that tilt split or you can say yeah a uh, tilt split so click on that tilt split and click on that create option and add it with pixel you can see here added with pixel and wait some seconds let's take some time to load fine now click on that rectangle and i'm going to create but wait a second uh, before this what i will do here is one resize option click on it and within a height is 60 or 60 words, i'm going to make it 500 by 500 within a height is 500 fine okay and then what i will do i'm going to drag and drop that here like this okay and click on that fill it's just like a paint okay i must paint and i'm going to fill some green color oh no not black green right and then i'm going to save it okay just save it it's actually you can do a lot more thing from here okay it's it's simple now click on that save okay and then click on that apply right now drag and drop this object here now we need to drag this object like this okay right see this okay now that's our object here now let's click on that preview button okay and you can see your game screen is here like this okay your game screen is here there but this one is not moving is not doing nothing here so go back to your project click on that picture right click on that and you can see added object captain captain is over that image or an object name okay added and then you can see here option of behavior you can see properties and here you can see the behavior new tab here click on add behavior behavior and you can see the behavior option and to use it as a top uh, top down movement okay so it means whenever you click on right left this will move okay this object will move and uh, one more thing you have to do here wait a second yes click on apply uh, wait a second wait a second we have to do one more thing here so this is the animation yes go to the behavior okay top to down behavior is fine and we need to add one more behavior is plate uh, platformer character make sure this is important okay click on this also this is important and then click on apply right and click on this uh, new object here and this is our platformer like suppose added object new object this object name you can say suppose the road okay and then click on behavior add new behavior and make it as uh, your platform this one platform and click on apply right now click on that uh, you can see apply to change it in so click on that apply okay no 
continue anyway okay apply and go back and let's click on that here see this one oh this is one actually moving right like this now i have to change this so what i will do here oh where is where is my character oh that's where is it gone so let me just click on that added object captain and you will find one thing here in the behavior okay you can see the rotated object just make it uh, disable unchecked and then apply and then run again right and wait some seconds right see that one is working fine it's moving right it's jumping uh, click on the speed it's jumping left and right okay so that's the overall uh, till now platform intro okay now what we can do I want to make this uh, this game as a APK file. Okay, click on you see here you can see in the second this one export the game. Click on this and you can see you can export this game in Android, Web and Windows. So uh, in the last tutorial we have learned how to export it Android. So simple click on that Android and package for the Android. Click on that and it takes some three to four minutes and you can download the APK. Go back. I'm going to uh, export this uh, today for Windows. So click on that Windows, Mac, OS and Linux. Okay. Windows. I want Mac. Actually, I'm using Mac. That's why. And click on package. Take some time to build. So you can see Windows EXE file. So just click on that and install this EXE file. So that's the overall uh, intro of that uh, platform. Okay. So in the next part, we will learn more about this platform. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Peace. Bye-bye.